Now, a lot of people are using the Microsoft to-do list for a lot of different things, both personal and professional. Now, some people do it by their day, you know, they assign tasks to a day. Uh, some people do it by uh, categories. Uh, important, we use important to uh, put shopping list things out there. And the other thing you can do is assign it by task of who has what task to do. But no matter how you use it, eventually you're going to get to a list and you're going to want to be able to sort this. And uh, we don't need to do it automatically, but we're going to show you how to do it manually as well. As you probably already know, you can go up here and you can have the sorting turned on uh, for different types of sorting. Uh, this one's done by uh, alphabetical. Now, in any particular list you have, you go up here to the three dots and you see sorting here. And you can click on one of the things here. You can do it alphabetically by create a date. And then you can sort it by up and down simply by clicking on the arrow key. In order to change the type, you have to go into the little menu here and choose what kind of uh, sorting you want to have. Uh, and then once you're there, you can sort by up or down. But you notice here that, let's say I want something that's you know more important, I want to see at the top. I can't do that. So how can I do that so that I can just drag things down in the list? It's a pretty simple, straightforward thing to do. You just click on the little X here to take out any sorting. None, no, not alphabetically, not by creation date. Once you do that, you can click and hold and drag the item anywhere you want in the list. To create your own customized list. But the important thing to remember is once you do that, you cannot sit there and drag something around and then turn on alphabetical and turn it off again because you'll lose your custom sort. So decide if you're going to use it and then just stick with that. Now, as long as we're talking about it, I thought I'd bring up my phone. I'm using the link to Windows to show my phone screen. If I move it here, you'll see what happens on my phone. It takes a second, but then it just reflects the changes over here. If you notice here, I have the same functions here. By the way, if you change this on your phone, you lose the sort on your desktop. So just be careful what you do on where. But here you'll see I'm using my actual physical phone and being reflected here on the screen. And I press and hold and drag it. And you'll notice real quick on the left-hand side, the app switches almost instantaneously. I'll do it one more time here to give another demonstration. Slide out the top and boom, drop it in. And there's the desktop app. One last thing to mention that if you've shared your list with somebody, I do it with my wife for shopping, obviously. Uh, if you change it or if she changed the sorting, it will reflect on that person's phone as well. So there you have it, automatic or manual sorting on the Windows To Do app. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want some more, please subscribe to The Old Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.